So the guys at Unitube, they sent me a head-up display to test out. It's been about six weeks now, so I reckon I've had a pretty good run at it. And there's some features I really like, so I'll, I'll let you know what they are. But if you order one of these, whatever you do, don't lose the manual. <laughs> this does about 20 functions, and um, it's, there's one button that controls all of these 20 functions with the way that you rotate this dial. So it's uh, keep the book, that's what I'm saying. Now, um, what I've worked out with this device, it's basically a screening tool. I'm not saying it's like a scan gauge or anything like that, but I'm using it as a, as a screening tool because if there's a fault code, it'll alarm that there's a fault code that's happened. And if I'm out in the bush somewhere um, and I've got a pretty good idea what it is, I can clear the fault code. So if it goes into limp mode, um, this device will clear it. So that attracted me to it straight up. Not to mention it does all these other things like voltage, tells you what your RPM is, um, what your speedo is, so it can work on GPS speed, or it can plug into your OPD2 port and um, get your speed exact, and then put it up on head-up display. So, things to note with that, you've got to dial it in a little bit. Straight out of the box, it was a little bit on the shy side, but luckily you can go into the settings part, and then you can dial it up or down. So now I've got it matching my GPS uh, on my phone perfectly. And this benefit I didn't even think about until I owned this device was now my fuel economy is correct. So your fuel economy on the dash, it's always been out because the speedo's out. Now that I've got the speedo correct, and this will report the fuel usage, it's like a liter, I reckon maybe even two, uh, improved to what it says on the dash. So it's really nice, when I was towing and I thought I was using 24 liters per 100, uh, it's actually much less than that. Um, so, uh, pleasant surprise. Other things it does, so water temperature, again, when you're towing and it's hot, it's nice to know when that big thermo fan's gonna come up on my car's a Y62 Patrol, it comes in at, degrees. Full driving, it means you can just understand if you're bogged in sand, um, you're not getting any air flowing over the radiator, but um, you're still using engine speed, so the engine's heating up. Once again, you can see what's happening with the, the temperature of the engine. Great thing to report back to me, as I said, like a screening tool. Couple of little limitations. The fuel ratio only goes up to 19.9. many times where it's above that when I'm full driving or towing uh, and I guess the only other little downside I get that is a bit of glare not at night funnily enough it's during the day it's if the Sun just catches it on just the right way it can give you quite a bit of glare but besides those two little things uh, it's fantastic to actually um, be running at the speed which I want to be running at like if, it, if the speeds only 70 k's an hour I'm actually doing 70 opposed to my on the dash it's doing I don't know 5 k's less with the tire size that I've got. So it's not a bad little gadget and it's not expensive either. Uh, you can get it through Dynamotive, go onto their website, it's a Unichip product so you know it's good. Okay let's run you through this head up display with some of the buttons and what they do. I'll turn the car on now and it will boot up. Now where you can see my finger here, there's like one toggle switch. Oh, there, sorry, there's a switch here to go between GPS mode and OBD2 port mode. And then the cable runs around here and back to the OPD. So this toggle on where my finger is, that's what controls everything. If I push back, it adjusts everything that's happening on the top left of the screen. If I push forward, it adjusts everything that's happening in orange on the top right of the screen. So at the moment in green, you can see it's got the voltage and probably through the camera, it looks like there's a bit of a double image, but from my eyes, it doesn't at all. It looks nice and crisp. I think that's just the way the camera focuses compared to our eyes, but I'll pull back. Um, so it's looking at kilometers, so tracking how many kilometers we're doing this trip. Um, degrees of the water temperature in the radiator, so it's about 65. Um, how long I've been driving for, one minute, and that will keep counting. And then it's got RPM, and I'll give it a rev, so you can see what's going on. And then you can see right through here, it tells you what load it's on. So if you're going up a hill, towing a caravan, all of these bars will illuminate to show how much load there is. So that's pushing backwards. I tend to keep it on this Celsius. I think that's most useful for me. Um, now I'm going to push forward and that's going to change the orange writing on the right hand side. And 
Um, so that's gone from litres per hour to litres per 100 kilometres. And um, if you're idle, it automatically goes back to litres per um, hour. Now, there is a bit of a limitation with this, with the, um, it seems to top out at 19.9 .9 litres per 100. It doesn't go any further. So um, I believe there's software coming that will update that, but um, you can also have your voltage on the right hand side if you prefer it on that side. Um, or your time. Basically, you can duplicate everything that was on the left on the right hand side so you can set double things up how you want it. I usually have litres per hundred on the right and on the left you can do your um, temperature. Now, if I press and hold this, it goes into another whole sub menu for settings and this is where you can dial up the speed uh, up or down. So, basically, set up your phone with the GPS, work out what speed it's sitting at and um, dial this up and down until you get it spot on because out of the box it's not perfect even on GPS mode it's not perfect but you can do this and then it will be perfect um, and there's a bunch of other settings I'm not going to go through all of them that's just the main ones I hope you like this product review of the Unichip head-up display it's been a really cool gadget actually I've enjoyed doing it and, and trialing this product if you like this sort of thing I do these product reviews all the time click that link it's just up there or hit the subscribe down there and I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah.